What's up with this cup? In this cup, my cocktail got born, or at least the idea of it. And that was back in the 80s when I was a kid. And we would go uh, back home in Iceland. We would go in the middle of the summer when it was really hot and nice. Uh, on Icelandic status, of course, which is about 20 degrees. Uh, we would go and sneak into a neighbor's garden and steal us a piece of rhubarb. Then we went, uh, after adrenaline filled the rush of crawling under a fence and through the bushes to steal a wee bit of rhubarb, we would drag it back to home and back a wee bit of sugar. And I would get my sugar into this cup. Uh, then we would stab it in and chew on it. And it would be an absolute treat. So for me, when I started bartending and, and uh, discovered that the Jim Martin Millers and Rhubarb are best of friends, I wanted to try to catch that feeling of refreshness and, and well, just this fond memory of childhood. So I came back to this cup and back to the Rhubarb. So how do we go about catching that kind of memory or feeling? Well, I'll show you how. Uh, I started with infusing some of the Martin Millers with rhubarb for about 24 hours. Not much longer because otherwise you lose too much of the ginness and too much of the bitter of the rhubarb comes out. That is step one. We obviously do want to cool our glass, though for this drink uh, too much cooling is not too good uh, to have the subtle flavors of both the wine and uh, the rhubarb come through and not to lose the Martin Miller altogether. Then our next step is to pour two and a half centimeters of the rhubarb infused Martin Millers into our mixing cups. Next up is our unalterated Martin Millers, also two and a half. If you have Martin Millers bigger brother, the Westboro string, it doesn't harm at all. The same. Uh, of the wine, that is the food, uh, we need three centimeters. When trying to create this, I tried all kinds of vermouths and, uh, and well, yeah, bitters to, to adjust for it. Uh, and in the end, I found that the only thing that really worked was this particular uh, rosé. You might have better luck and find another rosé that works, but that one goes for me. One and a half of rhubarb syrup, which is in essence one, one simple syrup. There is one fruit, one uh, two kilo sugar, and one liter water. Just seed. On top of that, to give it a wee bit of freshness, we need grated ginger. Press on it lightly and count seven to nine drops. cocktail you actually want don't want too much dilution otherwise uh, you lose all of the gin then a quick but a stern stir Float 
Then the only thing left to do is to take a sip and fall back 20 years and become a young boy again.